my name is Erica and this is my uh, day one update for the booktube a thon and there is a glare happening on my glasses I'm going to adjust to you just so I don't know if that's gonna work I think it's really I think it's for my tablet to be completely honest which is on because I was gonna show you the book so I moved that maybe that's better I don't know anyway so you're just gonna have to deal with a glare I guess I don't know why there's a glare So, day one of booktube a is uh, coming to a close um, pretty quickly here. There's like a little less than an hour left in it um, for me. And I did pretty good. I made some progress on two books. Yeah, two books. Why am I reading two books, you ask, here during booktube a -thon? Well, let me tell you. So, if you watched my TBR video, for the books we were on. You know, I picked out seven books that I wanted to read. I'm really excited about all of them. I was really, they're all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the challenges, everything's gonna happen. I'm gonna read seven books. I'm gonna do this. It was all for it. And then I had briefly mentioned that in order to focus on those books, I would have to finish the two books that I was reading currently at that time. So on uh, Saturday and Sunday, I set out to finish those two books. So on Saturday, I sat down and I read, I finished one of them. And then I actually took the other one with me when I went to work. And on my lunch break, I managed to finish that one. Um, so that left me with, well, half of my lunch break without something to read, which was really annoying. And then when I got home, I was like, I don't have anything. Like, I have things to read, but I didn't want to start um, any of the books in the Booktubeathon um, TBR because I didn't want to end up, like, halfway through a book before Booktubeathon started. Do you know what I mean? Like, then I was like, starting halfway through I just I wanted to read them all during the thing see if I could get like one full book a day in or whatever anyway I don't know I just I did, didn't want to touch that pile yet but I was looking at it and I was like I don't know so I had decided I think I'm gonna pick up um the night we said yes because I really I, that's like the top of that pile I really 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 wanted to read that book we decided I was gonna do that and then somehow I picked up my tablet and I was like, you know, maybe I'll just read one of the ebooks that's on my tablet because I have a whole bunch on there because BookBub is like the coolest thing in the world. Um, if you visit BookBub.com, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, I turned on my tablet and I got a little distracted by the uh, you know library um, app that I have. I have an app that connects to my library um, and allows me to borrow books, um, borrow ebooks from it. And uh, I went in there and I was looking at my history and I was like, oh wow, I've only ever borrowed one book through here. And then it had another book um, and I didn't recall ever reading it or even borrowing it at all. So I borrowed it again and I started to read it uh, that night. And uh, yeah, and I really got into it and I really liked it. So um, on Sunday, was it Sunday? Yeah, yesterday. <clears throat> so yesterday I was reading that book. And it's a pretty short book. It's only like 207 pages. So I was like, oh, I could totally get through this book. And um, the book I'm talking about is, and I'm sorry, I'm currently losing my voice. So this should be interesting. <laughs> so uh, this book is, and I think you can see it possibly. Maybe can you see, you can see, it's kind of eerie. It's actually a really cute picture too. Uh, anyway, it's called Lost and Found. It's by Brooke Davis, which by the way, if you're a One Tree Hill fan, tell me that's not the funniest thing in the whole world. Yeah, it's funny to me. Um, I was going to try to show you the cover somewhere else, but it's being weird, so forget that idea. Ah, what is happening? Okay, I'm just going to put that over there because things are happening. Anyway, so I uh, I started to read the book. Um, I really got into it, like, it, a page in. I loved it. So I just kept reading the book and reading the book, and I really, really liked it, and I was really into it. And then I'm sitting outside in my chair, and I finally found a spot where I can actually read my tablet outside, because, you know, it's it's a <clears throat> it's a next book. It's not like one of those ones with, like, the, the glare-resistant screen. It has a very nice, glossy, pretty screen. It doesn't like outside. Um, so I was sitting in a chair outside because it was gorgeous out, and hanging out before I had to go to work that day, and I'm just reading this book, and I'm loving it, and then... My tablet died. That is the problem with ebooks, really. Unless you're plugged into something, if you're in the middle of a book, it just dies on you. Like, at least physical books don't die on you. Um, so, anyway, so then again, same issue. I don't like not having something to read. And I was in the middle of the book, 
I'm like, oh my god, I what am I gonna do? So I picked up the night we said yeah by Lauren uh, Gabaldi. Um, also love this already. I think this is awesome. Can't wait to see what happens with this story. And I just um, noticed, did you know there's a novella? Uh, that's uh, Matt's story, who is the well, kind of, yeah, main male character in it. Did you, did you know that? Because I just saw it on something and I was like, ooh, uh, already I want to read that and I haven't finished this book yet. Anyways, so, <laughs> so I started to read that book. So then, um, I ended up reading Lost and Found again uh, last night. I read it before I went to bed. Um, I got through about half of it, and I read um, I read it this morning. When I woke up this morning, I was reading it. And then when I went to work, I was afraid that my tablet um, like wouldn't connect to the app or whatever. Like Something was going to happen, and I wouldn't have something to read in my lunch break. And I really don't like not having something to read. Like That bothers me. Specifically, if I'm participating in a readathon, I won't have a book with me at all times. So um, I brought the night we said yes. So I read uh, probably like 25 or 30 more pages of this in um, at work. And then when I got home, uh, after my work day, which was like a seven hour work day, day shift, I got home, I hung out with family for a little bit, and then um, I set to my baking because I had a, I had two different orders to take care of. I think I mentioned briefly before that I'm a baker. <laughs> I uh, I own my, uh, my own bakery that's based out of my house, it's licensed and all that good stuff. Um, I have an Etsy store, Goodies by Erica B. Should you need any baked goods while you're doing your readathon, <laughs> go check that out. Um, I ship anywhere in the United States, and uh, yeah, currently that's where I ship. I also deliver in the state of Maine. But yeah, little shameless plug there. Uh, <laughs> so I, while I was baking, I took out Lost and Found and started to read that again. And uh, I really, I love this book. So. I have about, uh, I think like 75 pages left in that book. Um, I haven't made much of a dent in The Night We Said Yes, uh, so that one's not even close yet, but but Lost and Found, uh, I'm definitely that. In the actual cover of the book, which the cover on the tablet, it doesn't show that, but the actual cover of the book is blue, a blue background with a cute little girl in her little shoes and her, her red hair, her red curly hair. So, um, so yeah, so blue on the cover works. And uh, since I'm just like really, I just want to keep reading it, I'm also going to say that it works for the book I really want to read challenge. So I've got two challenges in there and I did pretty good. <laughs> I'm not through. So day one's coming to a close and I have not finished a book yet. Um, so that whole seven books thing is going to be a struggle <laughs> just while I'm talking here. So Lost and Found is, uh, it's by Brooke Davis. Uh, it's her debut novel from what I've uh, seen like in reviews and stuff, which I started to read a review and then quickly like stopped because I remember why I don't like to read the reviews when I'm trying to read a book because I feel like they spoil things for me. Um, but anyway, so it was because it was like one of those long drawn out reviews and I was like, no, 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 don't tell me things. So I ran away from it and I didn't read the rest of it, but it is like her debut novel. Um, it takes place in Australia. Um, it takes place in, I guess, uh, south, southeast, southwestern Australia, I think, is what they said. And then they go to, uh, like, their, well, the ultimate goal is to get to Melbourne. Um, or Melbourne, how do you say it? Is it Melbourne? Right? Is that how you say it? I think so. They're trying to get there. Um, to, uh, well, because of things that happen. <laughs> so, the main character in the book, uh, her name is Millie, uh, or Millie Bird. That's what her parents call her, Millie Bird. So she goes by that. She's seven years old. She's probably one of the cutest, most endearing characters I've ever read. And she's very unique. And I I love this, the, the whole, I feel like I always say I love the style of things. But, like, I'll find another word for that eventually. Um, but I, I do. I love, like, the, I actually think the delivery is really unique uh, in the narrative and the way that, uh, just in general, the way that it's written is just it's so different from anything else I've read. Um, <clears throat> so Millie is, she's seven years old. Um, she's very much an individual. She uh, is actually kind of fascinated by death. She gets a list of dead things um, because she just keeps witnessing it. She saw her dog die. She saw her neighbor die. And then her father passes away. Um, and I, uh, kind of like her way of coping with it is to just put him in her list of dead things. And she asks a lot of questions because she's seven years old. She's very inquisitive. Um, she's extremely creative and, uh, it's just, it's a 
really good depiction of a child um, that has like that that innocent mind, like to just ask really poignant questions, and um, she's always looking for answers and stuff. Um, the book opens up with her uh, talking about um, <clears throat> her dad passing away and things like that, and then uh, her mother leaving her at a department store. Um, which is all things you would hear like in the synopsis and stuff. So no spoils there. That's there. Um, <clears throat> and it goes from there. It's her. Uh, it's her. I don't know her whole experience after being left in a department store. Um, while she is in the department store, she actually meets um, a man whose name is Carl, um, and he is a super fun character too. He's a touch typist. Um, he was typist like way back and now he's like in his 80s um, and you learn a lot more about him. Um, there's also another character that's uh, very important in the story uh, which is actually her neighbor her across the way and her name's Agatha and she's also an older um, woman. She's in her 80s as well um, and it's really interesting because these three characters are your narrators throughout um, the book switches between each one. And every time, even though the, the narrative is written the same way, you can feel the differences in character. And I think that's really cool. Um, and they've each experienced loss in a different way. Um, <clears throat> which you learn two seconds into them being the actual narrator. Um, it's a really, I really enjoy the book. I, I actually, I'm like the whole time I'm reading it, I'm just, I love this book. And the more I read it, the more I feel like it's going to make me cry. Um, because it's just getting so, uh, heartbreaking, I guess, and, um, because the more the story goes on, the more that you feel like Millie's pain that her, her mother has left her, um, and that's just weird to even think of, um, but yeah, I'm really losing my voice, so, uh, I don't even know if you can hear me, I hope you can, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm still talking loud enough. But yeah, so so that book's awesome, and I like it, and I'm going to try to finish it. Um, obviously, you can tell I didn't do the uh, day one video challenge today. I thought about doing the Domino thing, and then I thought about how I would have to pry books out of all these weird teetering piles I have <laughs> to make a Domino, and I was like, I feel like the way they teeter is already a Domino. <laughs> so yeah, so I didn't do that. Um, the night we said yes, uh, since we're talking about books and reading, sorry, it's like stuck now all of a sudden. Uh, the night we said yes. Um, this one I'm sure you've heard of because I think it's been all over booktube, uh, and not just because of Yellow Crate from July, because this book came in the Yellow Crate. Um, this one is about, and now I actually know what it's about too, but this one's about uh, a girl, um, and <clears throat> a girl and the boy that she falls in love with. Um, over a course of a summer, and then uh, what happens to their relationship, because he uh, he ended up leaving, <clears throat> excuse me, he ended up leaving, and um, and then he kind of comes back in her life, and it's told through, um, it's, it's kind of weird, it's told through, like, the first chapter will be, okay, th this is now, and then the next one will be at the same time a year back, um, or six months before, I think it's six months before. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's already really, it's a fast read. It's a really fast read. Like, I feel like I keep, like, blowing through chapters, which is weird because I'm only, like, 45 pages in, but I feel like I read those 45 pages in, like, 20, 25, 30 minutes. Um, this was a fast read. Um, and I like, I like the little stars and stuff. I don't think I can show you on camera. I don't think you'll be able to see them. Um, <laughs> I like the little, there's little stars. If you look at the, uh the spine of the book right there there's the moon and the stars there every chapter has them on the top and then the page numbers actually have these little stars on the bottom i think it's the cutest thing ever um it's really fun it's a fun book so far i feel like that one's gonna i don't know i'm the story is like i want to know what happens and then the fact that there's a novella that's like matt's story i'm just i'm wondering if you ever find out what happens if he has his own story in a novella i'm guessing you don't um I don't know. But yeah, so I'm, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to, I may read another chapter or section in Lost and Found before I actually go to sleep. And then uh, I should probably get some sleep. And I have no idea what's up with my voice. I don't know. So, yeah. 
I think it even like fully through brain. I don't even know. So yeah, so woohoo. Um if you are participating in Booktube on uh did you reach your goal today? Did you have a goal today? Um and did you get a book done? Which challenges did you did you do any of the things? Did any of the things happen for you? Are you with me and like you're just kind of through kind of some books? I'm so it's so funny. I really don't like doing more than one book at once. And you know what's really funny? And I thought of this after. When I was looking for something to read, why didn't I just read one of the four or five books I've already started? Really, like I have right here to the side of me, right here, I have a giant book that is the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. Now, I've already read all of his stuff at you know, some point, but I could have just read some of that or on the other side over here, I've got Russell Brand's memoir, which I started, what, two months ago and haven't made any progress in. I could have read that because I already started that. I could have read my writer's market that's hanging out over there and that I started and haven't uh, made much progress in. I mean, really, there were options for me to read that I had already started, but no, I start two new books instead. Um, you know struggles struggles with wanting to read everything around you that's what it is um so yeah so i'm hoping to finish lost and found soon i don't think i'm gonna get it finished tonight though because i don't think i can i can stay awake through 75 more pages right now um i'm getting to that point um and the night we said yes is definitely not getting done today but perhaps tomorrow because i'm gonna blow through it i know it and i don't have to work till four tomorrow I have a later night because I have the baby shift tomorrow and I know nothing. So I already did my stuff I needed to. Although I have to bake tomorrow too, so June. I would love to know if anybody got through one book today. Like seriously, did anybody get through their first book today? Did anybody do that? Is anything else like busting for the whole seven books challenge? Because I really I really want to read seven books this week. I think it'd be so much fun if I actually did that. If by the end of the book tube I actually read seven books would be awesome. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to check out some videos, and, uh, I'm going to go read some more. I will see you tomorrow, because I'm doing, I'm going to do daily updates. I'm going to do, and the last time I said I was going to do daily updates, during, during, uh, Read Your bookshop uh, and I didn't, I did, like, day one, and then day, like, three, was, like, two and three, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm doing daily ones this time. I am. I am. I'm doing them. I'm doing daily ones and I'm busting my butt trying to read seven books here. So, uh, during a weird week. Can we just talk about this one? I seriously, this is super babbling, but can we just, just for a moment, I work part time. I usually work like 30 hours a week at my retail gig and then um, my baking like fits in uh, based on like whatever orders I have. And this week I work 30 hours, normal week, actually I think I work 31, um, but I guess the normal week, whatever. Um, in between I have like some baking to do because I have an event to bake for. Awesome. Cool. Next week I'm working 46 hours. That's so over part time. <laughs> Working 46 hours. And there's a readathon next week that I really want to participate in. And I already have like books picked out and I'm really excited to do. And I have, if I get through one book working 46 hours, I, it's 46 hours and there's a seminar I want to go to next week. So, yeah, that's going to be rough. I, um,. Yeah, that's it. So, I think I already did a happy book tube with on, but I'm going to do it again. So, happy book tube with on. And let me know if you're participating and how many books you're shooting for and all that good stuff. Did you read anything good today? What did you read? Have you read Have you read Lost and Found by Brooke Davis? Or, um, and then we said yes. Have you read that one? I know a couple of people were starting this because I thought it was interesting. I was watching, uh, I was looking at Instagram and uh, Twitter yesterday. And a whole bunch of people were like, I'm starting on this one. I'm like, I me too. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. I like when everybody reads stuff together. There's also like a read-a-thon, I mean a read-along happening right now um, with, with the Book Addicts, yeah, Book Addicts Guide, um, that blog. Uh, they're doing a read-along right now, which is actually the Lunar Chronicles, and I still want to like jump on that because I 
and still I finished Cinder in March and I still haven't read the rest of them. I have Scarlet and Press and I have Ferris sitting right over there and I haven't read them. I really want to, especially since winter's coming out in like November and I want to be able to buy it and read them. I want to read it. So I kind of want to join that read along, but this is the problem. I want to join all the things, but I can't do all the things at once. I wish I could, but I can't really. Um, but I figured it out. I don't know. I'm going to stop now. Finish. Finish. I'm getting a little April cream. Hot. Finish. I will see you tomorrow. You have an awesome day. Happy reading, Jupiter.